Hello all my friends and welcome again to SimCity 4 Let's Play with me X-Ray. Welcome back again, so thank you uh, so much for joining me. We're going to jump right back into Kimri Villa everybody. I'm going to show you some cool stuff that I finally managed to get working. <laughs> finally. Because in today's episode we are going to take a look at some interesting beach mods that I downloaded. It's a series of mods uh, that all sort of work together. And that's what we're mostly going to be looking at today. And doing a little bit more zoning, of course. So you'll notice here, I've already plopped some stuff down ahead of time, before I started the episode, just to get things rolling a little bit. We haven't really done a whole lot more in the city, except that I bulldozed this over here. Remember that big, giant, awesome building we had? I just, I had to get rid of it because it actually didn't fit in with what I wanted to do. It just kind of looked like it stuck out like a sore thumb. I'm going to wait a little bit and then plop it a little bit later when I feel a little more comfortable with the with the positioning. You'll notice it left a lot of trash. Um, so that's the first thing we're going to take care of today, everyone. Let's, let's take care of this trash issue we have. Let's quickly look here. Um, I believe we can probably just export trash right now if we wanted to. Yeah, in fact, a lot of trash. Jesus, it's a lot of trash. We also need to import more electricity. We were running low earlier. And there we go. You notice our, our budget's pretty mm, it's teetering on the edge there, but you notice I zone some new stuff, so that will definitely help, especially when we get some more high-density developments. Real quick, everyone, let's take a look. Uh, yeah, water is great. With the extra thousand megawatts we added, the power will be fine. And for now, I think that's pretty good. So let's jump right in and take a look at the actual mod that I downloaded. Or a series of mods, actually. Um... They're called the OWW2 mod. I will try to remember to put a link in the description below for that for any of you that are interested. It's actually a series of mods. Um, you'll notice here, for example, this is a boardwalk, obviously, and right here on the other side of the boardwalk, we can freely zone any sort of RCI that we want. It hugs the water perfectly with this boardwalk that we put in place. Um, the corners that you see here are actually a separate mod. Um, well, a separate part of the same mod. And then it transitions into a little bit of a beach here, and then there's like a little pier out there. This is, again, another part of the same mod kit uh, that, that is downloaded separately. Um, you'll notice there's some really angular weird stuff here. It looks a little unnatural, and I realize that, but the thing is, is on one flaw of this mod, there's one thing that I kind of don't like about it, is there's no angled sort of... Uh, transitions right it's, it's all perfectly straight so for instance if we grab the one the one by one boardwalk section let's just clear this away and I'll demonstrate I didn't mean to clear that one away oops so let's put that one back that was the uh, observation deck yeah. okay so if you'll notice we can put like a one by one spot and another one, and, and so on and so forth. But what if what if this angled a little bit, like in this direction, for instance, didn't go perfectly straight? Well, there's not much you could do about that. There's no angles. The best thing we could do is try to put down one of these, these sort of angular boardwalk sections. But as you can see, it doesn't really go along the edge very well. It'll only plop out there where it's useless. It's the only real flaw of this mod, unfortunately. But I think it's a really nice looking mod overall. I'm pretty happy with it. So, you know, obviously we, we can look past that little flaw so that we can take advantage of this mod. Uh, and take advantage we will. First thing we're going to do is we're going to zone a little high density here because I would like some high density to develop along this particular section. Let's go ahead and plop these down again and replace them. Right up to our bridge. There we go. Good, good, good. And there we go. And then we'll put some medium density in here, if we can. I think we should be able to put it all the way in there. Uh, missing a bit of a spot there if we do that, huh? Ooh, well, there's nothing for it. Or what we could do is just... Guys, everyone, let's grab... Let's grab a, a thing. Thingy. Yes, small plaza. Thingy, everyone. Yes, small plaza equals thingy in my book. And there's thingy. That'll, that'll flush that little corner out a little bit. Um, what else? Oh yeah, I wanted to show you too another mod that I tried downloading and using, but I couldn't 
because of a little, I guess you could call it a bug. There's a little bug with some some mods. When you place them, like look at this run. It's really huge. It comes with a lot of different tools. You know, you have different sizes of beach. Um, you know, with or without parking, and they have excellent ways to transition. Let me just show you. I'll plop it down and show you what it looks like. So here's like the standard section of beach. Plop it down. Eh, it looks pretty nice, right? It looks kind of like the standard Maxis beaches, but this one is obviously a lot better because we can we can easily customize it. Let's see if I can demonstrate that. Uh, like here's a link, right? Which basically just means it puts like a single section down like that. Which is good for, for sort of edging up to that last little bit. And then when you're ready, you can do uh, land corner, is it? Oh my goodness, that's huge. Oh, and I don't think it's the one that I was looking for. Uh, no, not the one I was looking for either. Oh, I think this might be the one that I was looking for. Um, I'm not going to be able to perfectly demonstrate it, but you, you see what I'm saying, right? See how I put like an, an edge piece in there? If I was being a little less derpy about how I was putting these all together, I could have lined those up. I could have lined the parking up. Remember how before I was, I was whining about the, the standard Maxis Beach, this one here, and how you can't line up the parking lots? Well, this mod fixes that. You can do that as long as you spend enough time to make it work. Um, in this case, I did not. <laughs> I think if we get rid of that, we could probably line it up like this. No, no, that wasn't right. It's incorrect. See if we can get the no no no, yeah, still a little finicky obviously, but uh, it is it is still a much, much much better mod overall, quite frankly. Oh, a little bit more, a little bit more. I'm not sure why I'm doing this because we're not going to use this mod unfortunately. Um, you've probably already noticed why we're not going to. It just refuses cooperate. Well, that's fine, everyone. It's fine that it's not going to cooperate because we weren't going to use it anyway. We didn't want to use you anyway, mod. Why? Look. Yeah, water. Textures. Yeah. QQ. And I don't want to get rid of my water textures. They look really nice, don't they? They look really cool. I really like the look of them. It reminds me of, of uh, Florida beaches a little bit. And um, as cool as this is, this not workable everyone it's just not doable can't do that so I'm a little sad about that so to make up for it everybody let's just go ahead and uh, finish doing what I did intend to do which was over here so we're gonna expand this out a little bit uh, you'll notice I kind of linked it up to this it's not perfect if we kind of turn in an angle you can see you know eh, it's not really quite right but it'll do it, it'll do. And at a distance, it's really hard to tell that it doesn't quite match up. You guys have to forgive me. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not perfect. I am by no means perfect at SimCity 4, to be sure. Um, but thank you so much, everybody. Uh, you guys have been really uh, supportive of my channel, and I really do appreciate that. Giving me lots of comments and feedback and ideas and things. Um, and I try to implement them wherever it's feasible. I recently talked about, uh, for instance, maybe doing a different Let's Play because I did it. Right, I did my SimCity. Oh, not SimCity. I'm sorry. I did my uh, Super Metroid Let's Play not too long ago, which was a lot of fun. But um, but I'm sort of done with that Let's Play, right? It's done. It's over. It's been spent. There's nothing else left for me to do with it. Mm -mm, that's not right. So I've been thinking about, well, what am I going to do now? For a different sort of let's play. One of the ideas I had was to do Minecraft, uh, Minecraft which is a game that I, uh, I'm pretty decent with. You'll notice uh, in order to really get the, these piers perfect you have to shape the terrain a lot and get it to kind of do this angular thing which looks really weird but it's what we have to do. Uh, anyway, um, if I do do Minecraft, then it's by no means set in stone for sure, as anything is when I do, when I do it, right? Um, it'll probably be more like a, a mod, well, it'll be modded for one. Uh, gotta have my mods, everybody, gotta have my mods. I like playing games modded. 
I guess you could say I'm, I'm from that generation of gamer, you know, when, when modding was in its heyday. Uh, everybody modded every game, like Half-Life, for instance. Half-Life had all kinds of mods, everybody. Oh my god, the mods were awesome back in those days. And, which isn't to say that they're not good now, but... That was the heyday, right, of modding. At least in, in my opinion, it was. Um... Let's just have it link up to there and there. Okay. There you go. We finished the boardwalk, everybody. While I was jabbering on. It looks pretty nice. It's particularly from a distance. And we're going to zone more commercial. Actually, this is the... No, let's make this corner here more like the, the, the residential, and this will be the commercial side. So let's do a little bit of... Uh, a little high density, shall we? Let's put one there. Another one there. And fuck it, let's just go for broke. <laughs> let's go for broke, everybody, and just zone a whole bunch of it everywhere. Well, let's put a couple of little cheap shops there, actually. I also added this over here. It's a museum with a, a large plaza and a police station. You gotta have the, you know, the, the police patrolling your boardwalk, right? Making sure to, to administer some of that beach justice. I'm sorry for that reference immediately as soon as I said it, by the way. <laughs> Anyone that got it? Oh, God. Yep, yeah, so... There we go. There's that zone. And wow, I'll tell you, man. When I, when I play this, when I'm recording, it just astonishes me sometimes how quickly time goes, guys. Flower Garden. Just got I gotta throw that out there. Flower Garden. How quickly the time goes. It goes It goes so quickly. Um, let's do this one. Let's, yeah. Yeah. There we go. And there we are. It looks pretty nice, doesn't it? I really like the look of it. In fact, maybe it's just me, but I swear the RCI colors look different inside this area. I guess it's because of the, the color of the beach. Anyway, there we go. Before we continue and do anything else, let's just let the sim run for a minute. Let some of these zones fill out so we can start making more money. <laughs> Um, I had a couple of people ask me, by the way, uh, if I use any sort of mods which give me money, like free money, like the money trees and stuff. I don't, personally. Uh, I don't enjoy using those. Um, challenge, everyone. Remember, I like a little challenge in my Let's Play, and, you know, if I'm just giving myself free stuff throughout the entire Let's Play, then, well, that would just be too easy, everyone. Not only would it be too easy, it would also make things way too streamlined and simple. And uh, if I'm not having a lot of headaches and problems in what I'm doing, then really, what's the point, everyone? What's the point? And wow, our commercial is, well, it's just not that high, <laughs> of course. Oh, that reminds me, you know what we should really be doing? What we really need in this city is, is more and better education. By the way, everyone, if you're really wanting to, to make it easier to, to check your education levels and stuff, if you click on this, this will show you these nice bright green spots which show you where your schools and other education services are. We can also see the education level of, of uh, all our sims by you know the colors here. Um, it also shows you the ring around the influence area of the schools. So we can see here the coverage is okay. Over here there's no coverage and we actually want to add some coverage. You know what else we're going to do? We're also going to change this to residential because we need taxes everybody. We need taxes. There we go. I could use those mods, everyone. I could. I don't know. I just don't. I don't feel that it is necessary. Um, mostly because I do a lot of off-screen stuff, obviously, right? When I need to do a lot of tedious building sort of stuff, I just off-screen it. And that's about the end of it. Um... Let's put in a high school, because we don't have one yet. There we go. Alright. Um, well, and we also have the museum down there, so that'll help. Let's add some libraries, everyone. As you might recall in the previous episode, we mentioned that libraries are very useful because they keep our sims from becoming stupid over time. Uh, and they don't really cost much of anything, actually. There's really no reason not to plop them. They're super cheap and super effective. Insert Pokemon joke here. <laughs> that was not intentional. Um, let's put it. I was gonna say put it. In the, yeah, yeah, put it at the intersection. Oh, I hate when it does that. 
Look at that. Oh, look at that. What is that? Actually, I guess it's not that bad. I've seen worse. Actually, if you really want to see it looking worse. Uh, where was it? Was it over here? Yeah, you think it was... Was it here? It was here, wasn't it? Yeah, it's right along here somewhere. Ah, there it is. Look at that. <laughs> look at this fucking ridiculous... Ridiculous ass looking uh, retainer. That looks silly. It looks really silly. Actually, looking at the city from this angle looks kind of silly in general. That's why we're going to keep it looking at the other angle. Not that one. This one. That's one interesting thing. If you ever want to give yourself a good laugh, turn turn your city viewer, or like, angle it a little bit and look at your city, like, and you'll notice things that you thought looked really cool actually look really, really stupid when you actually turn the view and switch it around a little bit. Sometimes I like doing it just for shits and giggles. Alright. Uh, so yeah, education level is going to start improving. We've got the high school down now with nobody in it. Let's speed up time. Fast forward! Yeah! Fast forward! Go faster! Yes! Speed up time. It's very good to have the ability to warp time. Space time, everybody. I'm a magician, as you know. Time magician. Our college is way overfunded, but it's only costing us 80, so it's really not that big of a deal. Elementary school's more than fine. Jeez, guys, come on, check out some books. Read. Reading. You guys remember how to read, don't you? You know how to read! Okay, well, that should be fine. It, they just need more time. They need more time. School. Yeah, so I think I think we're, we're good. Let's, let's, let's turn down that. that yeah. And this one. Let's check that down a bit. Normally I wouldn't worry about screwing around with it so much, except that our budget is kind of low, so I want to make sure that we're squeezing out as much money as we can. I really would like these to fill out, but they're not going to, because I just don't think our demand is high enough. I might have to uninfluence the, com uh, the commercial versus offices. You remember in the last episode we sort of squashed... Beneath our mighty foot, we squashed all the office, not all of it, but a lot of potential office production because of the taxes. I'm thinking about maybe switching that a little bit, because you, you would have some offices, right? How about we tax them at 9.5% for medium offices? That might help a little bit with getting some office buildings in there. No, no, not so much. Well, that's not surprising, everyone. That's really not surprising. What this this area really needs now is just more developments. Um, density, but we could also spread out more. I'm thinking about, we're going to put some more beach over here, just regular beach. You know, like this is boardwalk where you can zone right out to the very edge, which is cool. I really like that. Uh, and there's a little bit of beach and then more boardwalk. Over here on this side is going to be more just beach rather than boardwalk. So this is going to be a lower density area. There's going to be a lot of medium and some light density, I think. We'll transition it though, we'll do like a little medium density in here, and then we'll do some higher density up here, right? And then towards the edge it'll go back down to light. And over on here, you know, I'm, I'm thinking about reshaping this terrain a little bit uh, off screen. I'm going to flatten it. You notice there's like a really nice flat area here near the beach, and then it goes right up to a big hill. I'm not sure yet. I'm, I, I want there to be a lot of suburbs out here. I haven't decided exactly what I'm going to do with them yet, everyone, but uh, when I figure it out, you guys will be the first to know, and the only ones to know. You guys are the only ones that I show these videos. <laughs> so I guess it goes without saying, probably. Alright. Um, so yeah, everybody, that's that's it for today's episode. Um, feel a little bit happier about this one. Now that I was able to get some, some of the mods that I've been intending to get for a while, I've got those out there, finally, and here they are. Um, feel free to give, give me any comments about how the city's being designed, if you like it or if you don't like it. Uh, or ideas for things you'd like to see in it. If you know about any mods, maybe, that are really nice related to the beach, let me know about them. Uh, and, uh, you know, let me know about anything, any ideas you might feel about uh, the whole... Minecraft or any other game idea and uh, I'll take it into consideration until then uh, everybody I'll see you next time enjoy your 
well, it's not really your weekend, it's my weekend still. Maybe not yours. Enjoy your day.